Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Today we shall discuss why is Moon considered to be the most important planet in Vedic astrology. It was, it is, and it will be the most important planet. Even though we check the transits from the ascendant, because in Kali Yuga, the external things only matter. People are least interested about uh, knowing how much happy they will be. They are just running headlessly towards pleasure and external acquisitions. So therefore, we check transits from the ascendant, not from the moon. But if you look traditionally, transits were seen from the moon and not from the ascendant because the rishis wanted us to be happy mentally inside within us, not be dependent on external things. But unfortunately, that's not the case today. So therefore, uh, you will always see that uh, transit seen from the moon doesn't work in Kali Yuga. Okay? I've seen this 100,000 times, it doesn't work. <laughs> well, but why do they say, and even if the transits don't work, but the Dasha calculation is from the moon. There is absolutely no doubt about it. No questioning of what looking at Dashas from the ascendant. Okay? So therefore, if you are born uh, with, with moon in uh, Uttarashada, for example, you are starting your life from San Mahadasha. So that will hold true irrespective of anything because uh, because the transits will uh, give you the external flavors and the dashas will give you actually what you deserve okay so many times a lot of things happen in our life but we do not see the final manifestation why because the dasha has not agreed to that okay so this is the meaning of uh, dashas not agreeing and transits hovering around. Okay, so therefore, uh, we have to understand what the moon is. Moon represents the mind. Chandrama Manaso Jataha, that famous shloka is there. But uh, moon also represents so many other things which we don't realize actually. Now you may say, oh, moon represents the mind. The mind is everything. So, which is true in one sense. But you have to understand what. What are the things that can influence the mind actually? Okay. So the first thing is moon also represents the mother actually. Why 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 does it represent the mother? Why why does it not represent the father? I mean you could say, oh, son represents father, somebody has to represent the mother, right? Uh, because uh, the the father does not hold the child in the womb okay, for nine months. Uh, the mother holds the child in the womb. So Therefore, um, what a mother does during the, the pregnancy period is very, 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 very crucial. What, in, what, what, what are you seeing and what are you hearing and what are you eating? Okay. These three things are very, 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 very crucial. So, we have the example of Abhimanyu from Mahabharata uh, when uh, he was in the womb of uh, Sukhadra, Arjuna's wife. Then um, Arjuna had uh, told uh, her how to break the chakra view and he had learned this from uh, uh, his mother's womb actually everybody. But when he was speaking regarding how to come out of it, then Subhadra fell asleep uh, and everybody did not learn it. <laughs> we have another great example of Prahlad Maharaj who is one of the 12 Mahajans. And he had also learned a lot of things in his mother's womb when uh, his mother Kayadu was taken to the ashram of Narad Muni by Narad Muni himself. So therefore, not just that, oh, Moon is mother, you know, so why, why is your mother as a person related to your mind? Why have you asked that question? This is the reason actually. Because they could have said, you know, Moon is your sister, Moon is your you know, husband, Moon is your father. No, it doesn't say that. It says Moon is your mother. Okay. So therefore, it's very crucial that we give the right input 
foods. So if you are a lady and you are pregnant and uh, you are awaiting delivery or not awaiting in the sense that or you are planning to have a kid or even you are adopting or whatever it is, there is a kid in your house or a kid is supposed to come in the future or you are planning, then it's very important that uh, you feed the right inputs to your own consciousness, all right? Uh, then that will automatically come. The samskara will come to the baby automatically. You don't have to do anything externally, okay? So that includes eating right food and uh, hearing the right things, seeing the right things, going to the right places, and having a disciplined life, sleeping on time, eating on time, not wasting too much time doing unnecessary things. If you, if you are good, then the uh, progeny is uh, also going to be uh, blessed by uh, your good habits, okay? And if you are uh, if you're just doing whatever you want, <laughs> then uh, the progeny will be affected by that, okay? And then later on, you yourself will be troubled, right? So that is why the moon is the mother, actually. And another thing which uh, which we don't which we do not understand is uh, moon is the society. Yes, moon is the society actually. So because see, you are never alone, you are, you are always either with the mother, with the father, with your brother, sister, friend, husband, wife, children, grandfather, grandmother, colleagues. Some some somebody has to be there with you, right? So. Uh, that sense you are never alone in this world. Now, not uh, never alone doesn't mean that uh, you are always happy. You may even feel lonely if you are with somebody. That's different. But in general, we are always surrounded by some people or the other. We may have a different level of connection with different people. That's secondary. But there's a connection uh, to some extent with some with everybody indeed. Even with strangers, you may have some connection sometimes. And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation, my website is down below, exoticastrology.in. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him and he will help you to improve your moon. And I have made many other videos on moon and moon remedies. Many of you have watched that video and you have benefited from applying those remedies practically. So thank you for uh, the application part. Uh, I really like to hear it that my videos have benefited you and if you have not seen it I'll put it at the end okay in the top and moon also represents the society actually because the society is the one which affects your mind okay so therefore <coughs> it is very crucial that we have a good social circle we are is decided by the kind of social circle that we hang around with because uh, the social circle is the one which plans desires. Eleventh okay. house is the house of desire. There's only one house of desire, which is the eleventh house. So eleventh house will plan desires. Okay. And fifth house is like your consciousness. So those desires get imprinted, which is the opposite, uh, 11, 5, 11 axis. They get imprinted in your consciousness, actually. So that is how you see that uh, you, you get certain desires. Like for example, if you go to a spiritual community, you will see uh, people are doing spiritual practices. They are you know, making the necessary changes in their life. They are cultivating good habits. Okay. Um, and if you go to a mundane materialistic society, maybe what they are doing, nothing. Just ruining and wasting the remaining years of their life discussing about useless stuff like Bollywood or what's happening to uh, Bollywood stars, what's happening to in India, especially cricket stars in the West, you know, uh, Hollywood or football. They're wasting this valuable human uh, life uh, discussing all this rubbish, garbage crap, you know, which, which is in no way going to affect their own life. What is happening to whom, which uh, which uh, cricketer got married to which film star. <laughs> These are the things they discuss, right? So they're just wasting their lives like this. 
you go to mundane materialistic clubs or societies, you know, they're just drinking wine, most of them, or they're indulging in eating meat, and they're just discussing about uh, the opposite sex, basically. This is what they discuss. Even I remember in 2008, 2009, when I used to have uh, so many materialistic friends, and uh, that my male, female, uh, male friends, the only thing they would discuss is, you know, which boy and girl uh, is having an affair, you know, how, how beautiful which girl is or you know, how smart another boy is, you know, the girls would discuss all this. So, this is how materialistic society is. Materialistic society is considered to be like a dustbin basically, alright. All the garbage is there in that, okay. So, uh, even in families, these are the things happening, you know, oh, what did your uncle do, what did your auntie do, what your nephew did, what your niece did, you know. These are all crappy things which people discuss. So therefore, if you want to improve your mental situation, you want to improve the mind, the most important thing is that you have to get rid of an unhealthy uh, society or an unhealthy social circle. If you do not do that, then you will also rot and ruin the rest of your life like they are doing actually. Okay. Um, if you stay with them, uh, as they say, uh, and there's a bunch of apples and you know, there's one bad apple, it spoils all of the apples, okay. But our situation is like, we are like a good apple and all the other apples are rotten. So imagine what will be our situation, all right. So in Kali Yuga, we cannot afford to not have spiritual association. So please uh, seek and find some spiritual center or community within your uh, district or state or country. Now, physical association, I am saying, I am not talking of online association. Online association is okay, that's uh, good, you can take it. But that cannot replace physical association. Okay. So, go to an association, go to a club, join a group, join a center, spiritual community where you know they are discussing the Bhagavad Gita, they are discussing Srimad Bhagavatam, they are discussing the Rama and the Mahabharata. These are the scriptures which uh, our she has given us Vyasdev, all glories to Vyasdev. So um, these these are for our benefit actually, right? So if we want to improve our mind, our mental situation, then we must take shelter of uh, these uh, spiritual uh, spiritual communities where we can find our gurus, we can find our shiksha guru, our diksha guru, we can find our god brothers, or we can find our god sisters. So only then we can expect that our mind will be peaceful because the moment you go to a garbage, a crappy material club, materialistic society club, the only thing they're discussing, you know, oh, who's got a new uh, car, who's got a uh, new, uh, who's going abroad for studies, and especially in India, these are the things I have seen them talking about. My grandfather was an IAS officer and my father was also a very senior level bureaucrat, one of the top bureaucrats of his time in Assam, uh, India. And I've seen these big, big IAS officers, politicians, when they meet, what kind of things they're talking about. So they're rejoicing in uh, discussing uh, which political party is pulling down which party. Okay, who is getting promotion, who is, who is cheating whom, uh, how how people are bribing each other, you know, who is getting things done in a, in, a, in a deceitful manner. These are things they discuss all the time. I have seen them with my own eyes, you know, and in fact, there was a politician who had once come to our home. Uh, I won't take names. <laughs> it's a very, he, he, he's not very famous now. He was quite famous once upon a time. And uh, he he came and later on he had dinner with us and after some days he was arrested for taking bribe. Right. So this is the situation of how pathetic uh, materialistic societies and clubs are always boasting about each other. Oh, I did this. All this boasting is going on with each other. Not trying to pull each other down. Trying to bully each other. So trying to pretend and show that their lives are better than the others, okay. Uh, so, these societies are like uh, garbage thrush cans. They are, they are these, uh, they do more harm than good actually, okay. So, therefore, uh, it's very crucial that we have a good Sangha. If you do not have good Sangha, 
our mind will always torment us because we will be fueled with desires. The material society will fuel you with all the sinful desires. Like uh, if you go to any evening party, you know, there's drinks always. So if you don't drink, they will kick you out. They will slap you and throw you out of the circle. All right. They won't respect you just because you say, oh, I don't drink. You know, I am reading the Bhagavad Gita. And also, it doesn't work like that. All right. So either they will stop calling you or you will stop going. One of the two has to happen. All right. So therefore, uh, do not waste the remainder of your life uh, getting these unnecessary you know, parties and evening parties and night parties. Uh, it's all full of garbage. There's nothing good in these parties, right? Just a waste of time. Basically, people are bored and frustrated and miserable and empty and lonely, and they want to forget this. That is why you know they will do some you know artificial some disco dance like this. So by that, what they are doing is they are trying to pretend that their life's not that terrible. Actually, you know, there's nice life, there's nice music, there's good food, but ultimately they are miserable inside because. Athato Brahma Jigyasa is not there. They are not connected to God. That is why they are miserable. And their misery continues and they have a miserable death. Their life is miserable. Their death is miserable. Okay. So do you want to die a pathetic, miserable death like this? Like the materialistic people? You know? Or you want to depart like the great Bhishma Pitama departed. You know, when he departed, uh, what a celebration it was. Right. When Parikshit departed, when Yudhishthir departed, what a celebration it was, you know, when the Rishis departed, or when the Rishis depart in general, when Matang Rishi departed, when Shabri departed, these are the personalities who should be our idols, the ideals, not these, you know, crappy politicians or film stars or you know, all the sports stars, you know. They are anyways going to have a miserable end. Not now, very soon they are going to have it unless they have been doing spiritual practices, right? Which most of them, in my knowledge, doesn't do. Some of them may be doing some practices. Uh, if they are doing, that's great. But the point is not uh, who is a politician or a film star or a cricketer. That's not the point. The point is, are we getting benefited from them, right? Whoever they are in their personal life, we have nothing to do with that. Whoever you are, be nothing to do with you. But Am I getting benefited? Is my life improving? Yes or no? If it is not improving, then it's a waste of time. It's degrading. Okay. So therefore, uh, have a good association, have a good Sangha and uh, only then you can expect that your life improves, your mental health improves. Otherwise, you are simply wasting time. You do thousand remedies, thousand mantras, none of these will work. I'm telling you literally, it doesn't work. It works actually, but the problem is without the Sangha, you cannot do it for a very long time actually. Okay. So for example, in my case, from six months, I am in lockdown, I am here. But then uh, very soon, I am going to go to uh, one nursing Dev's temple in Germany here in Simhachala. So there are so many great personalities there who are very much committed and dedicated for their spiritual practices. Then I'll be going to Hamburg also. So there also, there are many people who I know. So then there are people in Berlin, there are people in Vienna, there are people in Munich, right? So go and meet these people rather than wasting your life uh, debating of you know, all this useless material topics, all right? Thank you very much. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to it and my Moon Remedy video I'll put it here. And if you want a consultation, my website is down below, all right? What is that with you? All the time just to demand you will find it.